Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is Auto Jeff Reviews, where we review, compare, how to, everything from A to Z, all brands. Today we're looking at the 2022 Hyundai Palisade SE. It's the base model, and this one should not be ignored. So many times you see reviews of the top levels of popular models. That's not what everybody's buying. Check this one out here. Lowest price in the Palisade lineup, but it's full of surprises. I'm at Umstead Park in Raleigh, and this is a great location to show this one off. As a matter of fact, it was given to me for evaluation by Fred Anderson Toyota. So if you're in the Raleigh, North Carolina area looking for a used vehicle or certified pre-owned or new, Fred Anderson Toyota. I'll put a link in the description section. Check them out at fredandersontoyota.com. Now the Palisade, if you're looking for a mid-size vehicle, three rows, that might compete with something in the same class as Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot, Kia Telluride. This might be a great choice. It's unique, it's stylish, it's kind of funky, but I like it and I like how it drives. It's got a lot of features that really stand out exterior. But what about inside? We're gonna do that next. In my reviews, to help with your research, the first thing I'm gonna do is walk around the exterior, sort of like you're at an auto show. Then I'm gonna go and show you the interior so you get a feel, a baseline, a foundation, a lay of the land. And then we're gonna go section by section so you can see what makes each vehicle so unique and so special. This one here, I love how clean it looks inside. In other words, it's laid out nicely, the buttons, the controls, and dials are very easy to get to. They're easy to see, easy to figure out. Nice room in the middle row. I'll show you a couple features I like about that. And then as we look at the third row, this has nice space as well. It's gonna be fun to pick this one apart, right? Oh, mama, look at this front end here. I really like this. It's got the three-dimensional grayish silver front grille and then it's got the same surround here so it matches it fits and then of course you've got the big prominent displayed like a phoenix proud and strong hyundai symbol here and then we've got the silver bumper accent down below you also have led headlights daytime running lights and i love this design right here where it kind of swooshes around like sort of a reverse nike symbol here it adds a lot of character to the vehicle. You know, and I really appreciate, even at the entry level SE, it has several different safety features that will help you prevent distractions and help you prevent accidents, like a forward collision assistance. It's got rear parking sensors, adaptive cruise control. It's got lane keeping assist, lane following assist. There's so much going on here with this automatic high beams as well that switch on and off so that you can either project more visibility or lower beams so you're not blinding anybody in front of you. But I see this as a win for Hyundai and the Palisade because again, at the base level, it's loaded with features. I even like that it's got a backup camera that shows you the rear bumper so that you can see if you're getting close to something backing up really would help prevent a fender bender. Now, if you're a consumer, a potential buyer, and you see this profile view, are you gonna swipe? I think it looks really sporty, really stylish, and there are some features that really stand out. I'm like, wow. That's right, if you want to be known and you wanna be visible, if you want people to see that you're turning, why not have a turn signal indicator in the back of the side mirror? That's genius, my friends. And then also you've got it right here. So from different angles, people know what you're going to do. They don't have to do any guesswork like Columbo. Come standard with blind spot indicator, also rear cross traffic indicator as well. And it lights up amber orange color so that you can see right in your mirror where you're gonna be looking anyway, is the coast clear? Is it okay to turn? No, there's somebody there. Blind spot indicator says so, yo. I hope you guys are enjoying the Palisade tour. The magical mystery tour is waiting to take me away, waiting to take me away. And also look at these alloy wheels here. And again, I keep drawing parallels to other models and brands. And at the entry level, this is a nice wheel design right here. It's upscale, I think. I love the multi-spoke design with Hyundai displayed again here. So you know, if you're looking at the wheels, 
it's a Honda. And then these tires themselves are 245 60R18 for those watching at home and wondering. Let's look along the profile view. You'll see a reflector at the front. I also like how so many different styles break up the hyperweight paint here. We've got metallic silver window accents and surrounds. Long window right here, which helps improve visibility, but also styling because it's got privacy glass on it that wraps around to the back and it just gives it that cool factor. If you're looking for Fonzie points, you might've gotten one here. And then you'll also see matching silver metallic accent down below. So now I ask you folks, are you thinking about swiping? Let's look under the hood. What I noticed first of all, hydraulic lifts, very important. And also it's got some soundproofing material here. The heart, the meat and potatoes, folks, it's a 3.8 liter V6 engine. It's going to produce 291 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. And you'll find that this power production is very similar to what you'd find in the mid SUV market. For example, Toyota Highlander with the 3.5 liter V6, 295 horsepower. So very similar. Let's talk a little bit closer here. It's matched with an eight speed automatic transmission. You can get this in either front wheel drive, which you see here, or all wheel drive. That will affect just by a little bit the MPG and of course the capabilities of what you can do in things like snow and mud and gravel like you see here. But there are different driving modes. I'll show you those in a little bit so you can give it more pickup, better gas mileage, more comfort. You can customize it. Time for fuel facts. We have an 18.8 .8 gallon fuel tank. And then depending on if you get front wheel drive or all wheel drive, you're going to either combine for 22 MPG or 21 MPG. Both front wheel and all wheel have 19 MPG in the city. The front wheel drive offers 26 MPG on the highway, whereas the all wheel drive is 24 MPG on the highway and then combine for 22, 21. Your choice. Let's talk about the suspension because we got to know how it feels when you're going around curves, when you're a little bit unsteady, uneven ground, things like that. In the front, you've got McPherson struts with coil springs. And then in the back, you've got independent multi-link design. I find that the vehicle rides smooth. It's relatively quiet, even when you accelerate, which is nice. And then going around turns, I find that I really like the different drive modes because if you want to tighten that up, that response, for the steering wheel, go to the sport mode. If you want comfort mode or eco mode, then you're gonna feel a little bit more forgiveness. Forgiveness, that type of a thing when you're going around turns and you'll feel just a little bit of a play in the wheel, but it's not gonna immediately go where you want it to go. So depending on how you want it to feel, it can be softer, it can be harder. I've got our flashers on so you can see what the dynamic would be with those on. And then we've got in Chrome, the Hyundai badge, Palisade badging, and again, carrying on that theme of chrome and silver along with, of course, the exterior color coding. We've got dual pipes over here, chrome pipes, the silver bumper accent. You'll see that theme all the way around the bottom of the vehicle. And then our backup camera. Remember, I told you that you can see behind you, but also the curb view so that you can see as you're backing up into something what's gonna happen if you keep going. Look for a 5,000 pound tow capacity. So get your boats and trailers and campers ready because we're going road tripping, baby. Now we're gonna get in, go forward, go back. I want you to see what's going on here. We wanna make sure we turn off the automatic parking brake. We'll put it in drive. And then when we back it up, I want you to be able to see what I see. Do you see what I see? Look at the top of the vehicle. Look in the center. And again, I'm watching my backup camera to make sure it doesn't go within the red line because that means I'm probably within about two feet of backing into something. So I certainly don't want to get close. It's letting me know I'm getting close to something. To me, a big advantage is what you're going to find behind the third row. You've got 18 cubic feet of storage space. So if you've got that stocked full of people and your dog, well, you're going to need some space for your road trip to the beach in the mountains, right? Or the amusement park, right? So 18, that's pretty darn good. You can also fold these down and then you open up 45 cubic feet 
of space. That's a lot. And it stacks up. It does kind of curve in diagonally here, but it's a nice tall area once you get between the second and third row. So that could help you when you're stacking up boxes. And of course, if I want to lay that down, then I've got 86 cubic feet of space, which is a huge benefit because, you know, if you want to watch Netflix and chill. And there's a huge benefit for versatility. And there's a huge benefit for versatility here because look, it's just about 100% flat. That means a dog could sit here. You could stack boxes when you're moving your kids to the dorms. You can stack suitcases, whatever you want. Your cooler's not going to be tipped. Feel a little bit tipsy, right? Or you can camp. I noticed there was plenty of room for me. I could do camping overnight in this thing if I wanted to. Holla. Now, backseat passenger room, it's controlled by the bar that can take you backward and forward so you can free up space for either second row or third row, your choice. I can also recline my seat, which I think is a huge advantage on a road trip. And look at that here. It's just about a 45 degree angle so people can actually get comfortable when they're riding in the second row. I like that. I like that a lot. The seats are comfortable. This one's really squishy. It's like Charmin, but don't squeeze it. This one here seems to me there's plenty of room here for leg room, elbow room, headroom, lots of headroom space. I'm five foot eight and look at this huge benefit. I also see pockets here for children to put their activities. Boom. And I see USB ports. What? So two USB ports in the second row. That's important because you're not going to have to fight for connectivity these days. And then you've got rear air temperature along with the 12 volt circular port. But where does the air come out? I like the design because it comes from the top, flows down, and you can control where the air goes or if it does at all. And then that extends to the third row as well. Third row? What? Now, how do you get to the third row? Well, I would just push this button. That's pretty handy. Right to the back. I like that, brothers and sisters. And then, if I want, I can do it from that button as well. I'm trying to keep my feet off the floors here, keep them clean. All right, I've got good headroom in the back. I've got decent enough legroom here, and of course, if somebody pushes it a little bit more forward, then I have even more space, so that's a benefit there as well. And watch this, pull this down here, so I can get myself out, I'm free. Some other features I find beneficial, look, it's got child safety latches in the back, so you can clip a seat in right there, and you can also see there are latches to bungee things down, and also cup holders, which could be a good benefit to whoever's sitting in the back. There's the seatbelt that comes down for the middle. This is an eight passenger. That means it comes standard and only with a second row bench seat. No captain's chairs on the SE. Let's begin the front seat area tour. We've got these diamond shaped accents here. Metallic gray. Speaker up there. Again, many different styles, colors, varieties textures break this up so it's not just one color i like that you've got a bottle holder drink holder right down there along with pockets all the way around so that you can store whatever you want to and get it out of the way now how is this fabric seat controlled on the passenger side look at that i like the texture diamond theme and even though they're gray seats they're still different shades different styles you can move the back of the seat like this, and then you control with the slide bar, just like that. What's down here? I don't know, let's find out. We've got a storage space, so you could put maybe a small bag or purse, little Grogu. We've also got USB port and 12 volt circular port. I like that. And remember how you just can't resist the urge to push something when it says push? Or if I especially said, don't push it, I'm going to push it. Look at that. We've got more plugins. We've also got down here in this little cavern, we have, I don't think I can get my finger in there, but it's an opening so that you can run cords between here and down below so they don't get exposed. 
like an expose. It's not exposed. Or a hard-hitting piece. Let's see where this opens up right here. Excellent. More connectivity. That's impressive, folks. Looks like three USBs in the front, two in the back. It's like a mullet. Business in front, party in the back. Something like that. So then let's take a look. I see a raised eight inch screen. It's a lot to look at here. We're going to the driver's side next, but first up top. Although the driver's seat is not a power driver's seat, in other words, with power buttons, it does have what I call the poor man's power seat. In other words, you can pump, 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 pump it up. If you want an obscure Happy Days reference, Patsy was singing in school about pum 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 pump your blood. Don't know if anyone saw that episode. He can only learn through song, probably like me. Anyway, we can go up, we can go down. Of course, we can go forward and backward, and then we can recline our seat quite a bit back. I see you. I find the seating to be very comfortable. This right here is soft yet supportive, like a best friend. And then the seat, it wraps around me on the sides, so it gives me that cradling effect, and it doesn't feel like it's confined or constricted or restricted, any of those stricted, right? I'm down, don't look at my gut, stop it. I'm losing weight, I'm trying. So let's look in here, again, you can see the diamond accents. Why do I say that? Diamond shape in the house. Mirror and window adjustments, nice protective sill plate here and then this is for the fuse I don't want to pull it the hood release I like it this is the electronic parking brake I had to find that one it took a little while but I found it here's where the blind spot monitor is got brightness of the dash the lane keeping assist we've got traction control on and off it's not a leather wrapped steering wheel, although it's a good size. It's quite comfortable, I think. And I do like how it's just slightly rounded around. These controls are very, very easy to use. As a matter of fact, look at these controls here because this is an observation I had. It reminds me of when you have a small button traditional calculator and then all of a sudden your grandma gives you one for Christmas that's the large button calculator. And you're like, what am I going to do with this? Guess what? I'm gonna do my calculations really easy. I love these large, easy to read, easy to use controls. They're simplistic, it's not overwhelming like some cars. You should be able to figure it out pretty easily. For example, we've got our adaptive cruise control, like that. I've got different folders I can look at. I've got voice recognition, different modes, the phone, volume, and then here, we can go through our information. 25.2 is what this one's averaged in about 1,277 miles. That might give you a good indicator of what you could look at based on however these people were driving it. I don't know. I like the digital. You can do analog or digital. Your choice, baby. Woo! This has the traditional key that can have lock, unlock, the panic button, and of course the key flips out like a switchblade. 8-inch touchscreen here, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. How big is that? Look, ma, no wires. Now, the different driving modes. You turn this to give you different types of driving styles. For example, I can be in sport mode, and then you feel it tighten up. Comfort mode, you feel it loosen up. Eco mode, better gas mileage, and, of course, smart mode as well. This one's pretty darn easy to use here. You can look at the menu. Touch screen, right? Home screen, you like? So I can go to my menus. I can control the rear climate, the radio. I can do quiet mode, phone. I don't think it'll do anything because I don't have a phone plugged in. Okay, but again, it's real easy to use. Or you can use some of these buttons here. And I like that it's got a volume and a tuning knob. That's important. Do you hear that? It blasts out real quick. Maybe I want it to come closer to my face. Face. Woo, that's blasting out. It'll chill you out. It'll heat you up pretty darn quick. 
or you can make it nice and quiet in here because we're at a library. And of course you control it here. Notice it's not digital temperature. Now this, this is unique here. Park, reverse, neutral drive. It's different from your traditional shifter. However, real easy. Auto hold button here. You can turn off the engine starting and stopping and idling. And this is your parking sonar. Do you want the rear parking sonar on or off? All right. What are we going to find up top here? Well, we'll find our lights. Do you want the lights always on when the doors are open? How do you want it? What's in your wallet? Then we've got, we can see me with my iPhone 13 Pro. I felt that was appropriate for this video here. It's a lighted mirror, but you can also block out the sunshine if you need to. And it's got a slider. I notice here that it's got the oblique handles as well. What about on the driver's side? We're coming around here, not trying to get you sick. It's not on the driver's side specifically, but it is on the rear driver's side. And as promised, we'll put it in reverse and I gotta show you the different views that you might see here. Okay, got this one here. And then we've got this one, which shows the curve view. You can see the bumper. You can see that we're close, but now we know we're getting close to the rocks. Stay away from the rocks. Really good safety feature. I'm gonna take this for a little bit of a drive here on some of these gravel roads so you can get a feel for what we're actually looking at here. And again, this is very easy to access. It's easy to see, easy to use, and let's try the steering response here. It turns nicely. Let's go back the other way here. Yeah, it's smooth. Let's accelerate. It has a little bit of a lag, but you're gonna expect that with a three row SUV. Oh yeah. It's got some punch to it. Now, let's try the driving mode here. We're in sport mode. Yeah, you can definitely feel better throttle response. So if you're pulling out into heavy traffic or going up a big hill or getting onto a highway and you're just concerned, I don't think you'll need to be concerned. It can do it, but that'll give you a little bit better. Feel a little bit tighter steering wheel. Comfort. It softens up. I feel it softer. The wheel feels a little bit softer, more relaxed, I guess you can say. I like the visibility in here. Nice big windshield. Great view out these large, large windows all the way back. That's really cool, especially the middle row. Really impressive. Let's go up a hill. Holla. If you're new to my channel, you might find I spontaneously or randomly throw out a movie quote or a TV show reference or talk about gaming or sing a song, that kind of a thing. It's just what I do. I love pop culture. It could happen, but you're going to get a thorough review, but you're also going to be entertained positively or negatively. I'll let you be the judge of that one. So now let's see if you can hear a difference in road noise, engine noise, just the feel of it when we're on pavement. I like to give this up here a test because this is a pretty tough speed bump here. It's designed to keep people from going too fast in a park. I like that. Oh yeah, that's soft. It's very soft. That was good. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit here. Sport mode. Got some turns. That's right, baby. We got some turns. Woo! Yeah, I like the steering wheel response. Go back the other way here. We got us an S curve, ladies and gentlemen. Nee, 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 
Bo and Luke Duke trying to get away from Boss Hog and Roscoe P. Coltrane. Coo -coo. Accelerate a little bit here. Not too much. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's try eco mode just to see what happens. Again, it's relaxed. You can feel a softer suspension. Softer feel to it. Nice. And then we'll just look here a little bit. I think the readout is very interesting here. It's easy to read and understand. I love the blue accents with white. It's a nice calming, cool effect for me at least. But look at the visibility here. Watch this. Look at that middle window. It's huge. That gives you a feel that you're in a van, a minivan. Pretty impressive. Again, very few blind spots. And if you're not riding with anybody in the back, you can consider taking off that back headrest as well. And then just one more test. Look, it's really easy to get to and figure out these controls. I'm just so impressed with this design and layout here. It was done by somebody who did the game, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Well, it's easy as a fifth grader, but it's smart. I absolutely enjoyed this test drive. Hyundai Palisade SE has a factory MSRP of just a little bit over 33,000, making it a great option for you if you're looking for good value, nothing that's gonna break the budget, break the bank, but it's very dependable as far as the ride quality, you know what you're getting, and I love the different drive modes here. I found it drove very smooth, I was impressed. You might want to give this one a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at AutoJeffReviews. You can also write me with a question, a comment, or suggest a video at AutoJeff.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.